Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to go through problem 25. Problem 25 says, um, which of the following is a solution to the differential equation dy dx equals 2 sine x with initial condition um, of y of pi is equal to 1? So basically, each of these functions is clearly viewed as a function of x, so they're saying that each of them is y of x and the, uh, that when we plug in pi, we should get one for um, the corresponding y value. That is when x equals pi, y is equal to one. And the particular solution to the differential equation. Let's first get a general solution by using separation of variables. Um, remember, if we have dy dx equals two sine x, we can use separation of variables if we write dy equals to sine x dx and take the integral of both sides of this last equation and if we do that um, noting that this is 1 times dy we'd get that the integral of dy or 1 times dy is y plus some constant a since it's an indefinite integral and then likewise on the right side we'd get the antiderivative of that plus a constant let's say b allowing for a and b to be different. But the antiderivative of that is negative two cosine x, so negative two cosine x plus b, right? Some other constant b. So then y will have to equal negative two cosine x plus b minus a, combining the two constants on the right side. And let's say that this is equal to c then we have a general solution to the differential equation, and that is y equals negative two cosine x plus c. If you differentiate this function, it should lead to a differential equation that's exactly equal to that, right? We could do it. If we take the derivative, we get dy dx equals negative two times the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine x, and then plus the derivative of a constant c, which is zero. So this says negative two times negative sine x, which is two sine x, oops, sorry, um, two sine x. So as we expect saying dy dx equals two sine x. But we're not after a general solution, we're after a particular solution. So taking this general solution, we should use the initial condition that we're given to find a particular solution. And of course, the particular solution is of a family of infinitely many functions that um, have that form, the one, the one function that goes through the point um, pi comma one is the one we're after. Okay, so since our general solution is y of x equals negative two cosine x plus c, plugging in pi, we get y of pi which is equal to negative two cosine of pi plus c, uh, we know should equal one. And remembering that cosine of pi is negative one, we could write negative two times negative one plus c is equal to one. And that's two plus c is equal to one. So c would have to equal negative one. And now that we know the particular value of c, we could write that our um, particular solution is y equals negative two cos x minus one, replacing that c with its correct value of negative one. And the only answer that says that is answer choice E, which is our final answer. Okay, great. Um, uh, yeah, anything that that was unclear here. Well, yeah, okay, so for cosine of pi, if you don't have a tool, you could just look at the cosine function, remember it starts at 0, 1, and it does this, um, kind of, like there's a better drawing of it, but even my axes weren't great, and that being, um, that being uh, pi over 2, so this is pi, and it will be negative 1 as a, in its y value, okay, that's really ugly, but whatever, okay, alright, um, I hope, yeah, that makes sense, take care.